So hello everyone welcome back to our channel are you dreaming of landing your first job in data analytics but feeling lost to where to start don't worry i have got you covered in this video i will walk you through a clear step by step roadmap that will take you from a complete beginner to job ready in data analytics whether you are from a non tech background or just starting out this guide will help you build the right skills craft a strong resume and crack your first analytics job let's dive in so as you can see on the screen uh, we have the very good uh, question arised here that how to start a data analytics job as a fresher so i will just give you a step by step road map how you can start with it so let's begin so first of all let's understand what is data analyst so data analysis basically means uh, you know uh, taking the raw data and trying to find the insights from it as you can see from your screen that it involves examining raw data raw data basically it is a data that you can directly download from the source or you can just take it from the external sources as well uh, most of the people use kaggle which is a open source from google to download the data you can you can just take your data from the kaggle and try to use it try to you know work on the data with the help of so many tools and libraries that you have or uh, you can you, you can just pick out the python you can just download a jupyter notebook which is a very beautiful uh you know a kind of id so you can just go with it and uh, what you can do is that you can try to find the patterns and correlations correlations are basically the relations between the data that what uh, you are actually able to achieve it for example it's a sales data so what uh, trends you are getting what's the gender what's the price uh, they are getting from sales data like what the product uh, what's the income status of the people so all these things will help you in finding the right solution so that's the thing you would be doing that's the thing data analysis that's that's actually what you mean by data analysis analyzing the data with the help of raw data and you can in it will involve various steps like you know preparing the data preparing cleaning cleaning analyzing so this is going to be your steps before preparing you might have to extract it so you can extract from various sources that i have mentioned over here so this is going to be what is data analysis so basically means as i explained that analyzing it so let's let's go to the next slide so as you can see over here the importance of data analysis what why do we do a data analysis it basically means that so you know in today's world data driven world data analysis is crucial for success success means what success of the business success of the people so it what it does it enables the organizations to gain valuable insights so if you gain the insights of your business so what do you do by getting insights of the business you can try to find the weakness and strong point of your business so with the help of that you can you, are, you will be able to take the right decisions so data analysis plays an important role in here decision making got it so this is what we mean by why why data analysis is important it helps on us in making the right decision and uh, as you can see here customer behavior that's i already mentioned or you'll be able to find the customer behavior like what customer is trying to uh, do for example uh, you are a sales company and uh, your customer is suddenly started churning churning basically means here that they are leaving your product they are not buying it so what can be the reason we'll try to find out and then we can come up with a solution that with the help of insights so how you're going to draw the insight again with the help of programming language like python or you can even create a dashboard using the power bi and you can use the mix of stuff as well so this is why the data analysis is very very important for any business now let's move to the next slide so why choose data analytics the question comes here why to choose why one should choose the data analytics so uh, as you can see on your screen it is of high demand good salary opportunities in multi industry uh, this is actually true for especially for 2025 if you want to be a data analysis uh, it's it's going to be a very good opportunity for you guys because it is in high demand as of now the every company is asking for a data analysis you will you will be the highest demanded demandable job as of now and you will be paid a very good handsome salary uh, plus you will get opportunities in multiple industries because data analysis is required in all types of industries so this is why we should choose the data analytics got it i hope you got so let's move to the next slide so now i will uh, you know mention uh, you tell you the step by step uh, uh, things how you can you know 
uh, go to become a very good data analysis. So what you can do, first of all, you can just, uh, you know, learn some basics like Excel and Google Sheet. Uh, you can, you know, by strong foundations, you should have first, the foundation of anything should be strong. So first you learn the basics, go with the basic things. What is basics here? Basic six, you know, Excel and Google Sheet. SQL, basics of SQL at least. Uh, I would suggest you to go with the joins window function nicely because this is very important topic for the data analysis. Python, you know, you learn first the basic of Python and R, and then you can go with the libraries of Python, which is Pandas and NumPy. Pandas is very good for data preparation and, you know, uh, exploration, and NumPy is used for mathematical calculations. You also have to learn other things like Matplotlib, which is other library of Python used for visualizations. Yeah, so that's all about the step one of the how to become a data analyst. Now let's move to the step two. So here you go. So what do you need to do as step two for becoming a very good data analyst? So you have to work on real world projects. So practical projects to build experience. Uh, for example, you can, you know, you can apply your theoretical knowledge to gain some practical, you know, experience. Uh, and also you can do some hands-on experience by engaging in any projects that require data collection, data cleaning, analysis, and visualization. So, and you can also utilize open data sets platforms like Kaggle that I already mentioned that you can download the data sets from Kaggle or you can directly, you know, uh, walk out there because that's a very good platform. You can even walk there. You can just create your own project out there. You can also collaborate uh, with the hackathons, you know, like you can collaborate with your classmates or friends and participate in hackathon because it builds a lot of uh, experience and expertise inside you. So this is the thing you can do uh, as step two by working on real projects, participating in hackathons, etc. So I would write here, like uh, for example, uh, there are so many hackathons like uh, Google used to conduct uh, IBM will conduct and many other companies will conduct the hackathons. So try participating it. Currently, Walmart is conducting some hackathon. So try participating in the hackathons uh, because it will help you boost your confidence level, uh, your practical ex expertise and many, many other things. So that's it. And let's uh, move to the step three, which is uh, building a strong portfolio. So Building a strong portfolio is very important part uh, uh, for you is going to be very important if you want to build a career in data analysis, in data as data analyst. So you have to showcase your work. Uh, how can you showcase your work? Uh, you can, you know, just uh, uh, comp uh, do all these things like uh, Excel and Google Sheets, SQL, like learn, learn these skills uh, like Python, R, Data BI tools, CTC. You can show your uh, experience and expertise uh, to potential employers uh, through, for example, uh, you can just use, uh, you know, already to use right uh, LinkedIn, for example. So you can make a very good LinkedIn profile. Uh, you can uh, create a own portfolio with the help of, you know, web, web development. And then you can showcase your work. You can even uh, use the open source like GitHub to post this, your websites and everything or your ML projects. You can uh, you know upload out here. It's an open source container. So this is going to help you a lot. And uh, you can also, you know, uh, create your personal blogs. Uh, so blogs uh, are a very important part of life. I would recommend uh, you to build your own blog website build blog website because it helps a lot if you do it in college days i had an experience of meeting one of my iit and friend who told me that uh, we should start with building a blog so all the best you guys and let's move to the step four uh, step four is uh, optional but uh, getting certification in the particular domain will help you a lot and uh, recommended certification here it is mentioned uh, these two certifications you can get from Coursera side there are a bunch of 10 to 8 courses 8 to 10 courses uh, so you can just participate in these courses and you are good to go so also uh, you know you have to stay updated in this particular field uh, continuous learning and upskilling are essentials to part of the data analyst job and uh, entering into the you know this uh, things are going to be important. So if you have uh, that much interest and uh, a desire to be a data analyst, I would suggest you to have these certifications. Even free learnings are uh, welcome. You can uh, go through the, uh, you know, through the YouTube as well, and you can learn a lot of skills. 
so all these are going to help you a lot and let's move to the step five so applying for jobs uh, and network so you can what you can do you can explore the job through the career site or uh, we are sending it uh, you know daily we have a whatsapp group and channel so we can join our whatsapp group and channel and telegram uh, channel as well so there we post daily eight to ten plus jobs so uh, you are gonna get uh, you don't have to go anywhere to apply to any jobs you can just uh, stroll through our, our groups and you can apply from there and uh, and try to network with your uh, connections you can make connections on linkedin and try to network with them uh, connecting with recruiters uh, joining data communities you can even go to some meetups and uh, connecting with uh, joining some forums on discord or linkedin or uh, enhancing your linkedin profile uh, you can just keep uploading your certifications your achievements your uh, participation in the hackathon everything you should keep updating on linkedin because i have seen uh, recruiters reaching out uh, through linkedin because i have personal experienced this as well so i would suggest you to optimize your linkedin as on priority basis and these are the jobs that you can apply for as a junior data analyst or as intern or something like that so this is all going to be our step five, which is very important, connecting with the, uh, uh, you know, potential recruiters and uh, applying to the uh, required jobs. So that's it. And uh, you can leverage some resources, uh, utilize, you know, job portals and all this. Now let's move to the next slide, which is the future of data analysis. So the future of data analysis is, you know, going to be a uh, very much uh, great because uh, that with the advancement of machine learning and AI, uh, the jobs are going to get created uh, in the coming future. So uh, what you can do that uh, uh, keep learning and growing in the particular field. Uh, these technologies are automating complex data analysis tasks and uh, it's, it leads to the more predictive and prescriptive analytics. So uh, keep up to date yourself in these rising technologies because it's going to help you a lot. And uh, try to, you know, uh, gain as much knowledge and skill sets as possible in this particular uh, you know uh, skill sets uh, that's the all about uh, you know this data analytics job and uh, now let's uh, come to the conclusion part so uh, this was you know complete roadmap uh, from starting a data analyst to a fresher like how you can uh, land a data analyst job as a fresher so as i can say just remember that uh, consistency is going to be the key so just keep learning and uh, keep learning keep practicing and don't be afraid to apply for jobs even if you feel underqualified try to apply for a job even if you are 60 percent qualified uh, as i have seen people uh, getting selected and shortlisted for this role because uh, these months are going to be very crucial for a person seeking a data analytics job so if you found this video helpful give it a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, for more career insights and do comment if you have any questions because we will be happy to help you and that's it from my end today see you in the next video keep learning keep hustling keep growing bye